All right, I've been showing you how to build a Meet My Classmates app, and the home page kind of shows um, you know, on this right screen over here is, is my tablet being projected, but it shows all the people, all the information in the spreadsheet. I got three rows in a, in a spreadsheet. Um, I can choose one of those people and it'll show more information for them and I can next through it. So we call that the info screen. And then we got a map screen, which basically puts a marker on a map for their like hometown or something. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is some cleanup now. Um, I want to add some labels and stuff to make our homepage look better. And then also on the map page and the info screen, I want to I want to make it so we can get back to the homepage. We need a back button, basically. So I'm just going to do some cleanup in this one. And, and what I want to do is first just add a label. And I'm going to put that right at the top here. And I'm just going to say, um, let's just pretend this is the class Dunkable 101. OK, these are actually. What, what I'm actually showing is the authors. Uh, Rafiki is my co-author for my drag and drop code book and Tara uh, wrote the forward for it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to put that label and then maybe I'll put another label that just says like class list or something. Okay. And so let's just put the text in that says class list. And let's call this Thunkable 101. Let's just make it a little bigger, like 30. Okay, and yet as you see, as you as you update things, it's kind of cool, um, you know, on your device. If you're testing on your device, it'll actually make those changes as you're as you're editing, which is which is really cool. Okay, so now let's put some back buttons in. So I'm I'm going to go to the info screen, and these back buttons are actually easy. So we've got a next button on the info screen, um, but what I'm going to add is another button. And I'm going to put it right below the next button. Whoops, let's move it down here. And let's move the next above it. OK. And on this button, we're just going to say um, home to get back to the home button. And you know what? I'm just going to put you know some, some margin underneath the neck. So I don't know. On the bottom of the next button, I'll just put like a percentage of like 15%. And that's just going to make the whole button here. Now, obviously, I want to style this, and I can put, I can put an image here instead of the word home. You know, I could put an arrow for next. You know, so I can I can style stuff to make it look better. But the key thing is, is when the user clicks the home button, we just want to navigate back to um, the the home button. And and the info screen has a bunch of blocks, um, which is handling like the next button and whatnot. But we're just going to add one more event handler. And that event handler is going to be for, well, actually, it's called button one right now. Let's go rename it. But let's just call this the go, you know, go home button. And it's just going to take us back to the home um, page or screen one is really what, it, what our home screen is called. Um, so now let's see, since I changed the name, we now have the go home button when I click it. And I just want to go to control and navigate to screen one. So so pretty, pretty easy. Um, and I, I can do the same thing for the for the map screen. Okay, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's go to the design. We've got our map screen. Well, I guess I already added a home button for the for the map screen. Um, I don't know if I put the blocks in, I don't think so. Uh, so for the blocks, um, I'm just gonna go home button when it's clicked. And once again. You know, from that screen as well. I just want to let the user navigate back back home. Okay, and we can just live test. Actually, it's already you know, as you can see, it's already updating when we make those changes. But just to see if it works, I'll choose the map button. Oh, actually, let me just choose one of the people here. Let me live test one more time. There we go. And if I choose one of the people, Tara. And I still got my next button, of course, but I can also just choose home and it'll take me back to the, the home page. Anyway, just a little cleanup. Um, and, you know, kind of after you are kind of done or you think you're done with your app, always spend a little time on user interface stuff and make sure you at least have the basics of, you know, navigating between screens and whatnot.